and Trout four. I, could, I agree with that totally, one hundred percent. Yeah, like um, and because Mc- the Orioles have not shown me that they're committed to Machado. Yeah, just and, and 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 McCutcheon. I mean, I don't necessarily see that they would deal him. You know what I'm saying? Like right. we're still talking about, you know, and I'm just talking about free agency. Right, I get you, but we're still talking about. But even with McCutcheon, it's like, it, would they really deal him? I don't, I don't really they're know. Not gonna, they're you not going to. They're not going to deal him unless they feel like they can't win. That's usually what you do in baseball when you really feel like you're out of something. You deal one of your best players, and it don't seem like they're having a problem winning right now. Who the Pirates? Yeah. Um. Well, they're out of a playoff spot well, at the moment, spot, but, but they're, they're still trying. Yeah, they're, they're, they're trying to get there. Um. So, what what do you think? You think you think the Nationals going to try to trade for uh, a closer before the deadline? Because that that bullpen is rocky. Bullpen is rocky, but no, I I I think I think I think they're going to you know stay pat for the most part and try to. You know, work it out. Yeah, and y'all haven't run away with the division either. No, no, by by no stretch, by you no know. stretch. So, yeah, I, I think the Nationals will still make the playoffs. Oh, I, I don't I think know. We'll definitely make the playoffs. I just don't know if they're going to win the division or if they're going to go in as a wild card. Yeah, I think we're definitely going to the playoffs. So uh, this this situation with Chris Sale, uh, the pitcher for the White Sox. So you you, you heard this yeah. story. Mm-hmm. So, um, I gotta here's here's what I have a problem with and what I don't have a problem with. I have a problem with you cutting up jerseys. Not not just your own jersey, but cutting up your teammates' jerseys because you feel a certain way about them. What I don't have an issue with is what he said. And quite frankly, he wasn't apologetic for it, but he basically said, look, these throwback uniforms are garbage. Uh, number one, number two, I don't feel like I can pitch my A game with these uniforms. Now, did you get a chance to look at the uniforms online? Yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, I've seen them, but I've seen them long before, you know, they was wearing them. They was about to wear them last Saturday. Um, yeah, from like nineteen seventy six. Yeah, something like yeah, nineteen seventy six. And they had like a, a like a crazy collar. Yeah, around yeah, it or something yeah, like I've that. Yeah, I've seen them before. Um, here's the thing. Um, I'd like to, you know, give Jamel Hill some shout outs because I heard her talking about it and her perspective is kind of my perspective. And I, I, okay, it's not, you can pay a lot of money and I'm not saying that, I'm not saying that you should put on the jerseys because you're getting paid a lot of money because again, if you're saying that it's affecting, it's going to affect your game, Mm -hmm. then that's a, that's a, a valid point to present to Whoever you presenting the point to, and if and and to kind of value that before you continue, if that is an issue, the White Sox need to not turn a blind eye to that, right? Because he's their best pitcher. Yep, he's probably the better pitch, the best pitcher in the game right this second. Um, so for that, for that sentiment, um, cool. What I got a problem with is you having a temper tantrum. You can't like. My nigga, you gonna have a a temper tantrum? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. Um, cutting like like let's say, let's say what we're doing now, like we did this for another company. Like, yeah, I could be mad that these microphones are some garbage, but I'm not gonna start throwing microphones and equipment and breaking you know pieces of equipment like that right i'm not gonna destroy stuff right you know i just gotta sit and deal with it um yeah so um just to kind of you know for the listeners to give them kind of backstory what happened was essentially they uh last saturday uh they were gonna the white Sox were gonna wear these jerseys he threw a fit he started cutting up jerseys he was sent home he was suspended five games um and then came uh the rumors of well should we trade him because he's had character issues in the past right and things of that And he was nature. very vocal about that Adam Roach thing that happened with yeah. the kid. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And cool. Um, again, to defend No, you're not they're not gonna trade him. He again, he's one of the better pitchers in the game. Um, he's he's you know, Pete they mean he means something to the team just you know, from a leader standpoint. Right. Um at this point they're not paying him a whole bunch of money. 
So if they were to try to deal him, nobody's going to take him because right, right. this is going to require. At this point, he could require a lot of. He could request a lot of money. Right. So he'll stay where he is. Um, they'll just have to deal with the fact that he cut up some jerseys. Um, so does this send a more broader message from Chris Sale while he was cutting these jerseys off? Like, like for example, the White Sox organization. Going back to the Adam Roche thing. They haven't handled certain things pretty well. And maybe this was something that the White Sox could have gotten a hold of before this situation happened. Do you think that Chris Sale is also trying to send a subliminal message saying, yo, I don't want to be here. No. We, as a, we as a team, we're not good. We tailed off after starting so hot early in the season. And... I don't. I don't like the front office. I don't like the people here. I don't like this team. Like, deal me right now. Nah, I don't. I don't think that's the case because I think. Um, Does he get dealt? No, he doesn't get dealt. Even if he asks to be dealt, he's not going to get dealt. Mm-hmm. Um, even if the even if your theory is right that he's this is a a a a, a cry for help like. Get me out of like, here. Get me out of here, yeah. Um, they don't they don't deal him. Um, because again, he's one of the best pitchers in the game and he they not paying him shit. Right, right. So he's not going nowhere. He he gotta eat it. And was and was what's dope about it for the White Sox is is that if he plans on going somewhere else and getting big money, he gotta continue to play at this level because he's playing at a pretty high level right now. Right, regardless of what the team's record is. Yeah, regardless he's gotta continue they're... to play at a pretty high level. Yeah. Um if he plans on getting paid the next time he when he's eventually dealt. Right. And to look at the other spectrum side, what team that just witnessed this incident is going to put a package together and say, hey, you give me Chris Sale, I'll give you X, Y, and Z, let's make the deal happen. Right. I don't see anybody doing that. But getting back to the, the throwback jerseys, um, the, the White Sox jerseys, I, I, I kind of thought about this kind of a, a subtopic here because I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of the throwback jersey culture. Yeah. I remember. You came up on it. Yes. Yeah. I remember from, I guess it was 99 all the way through maybe 04, 05, where, you know, the throwback jerseys just kind of came back in style. I mean, you saw rappers like Fabulous rocking the throwback jerseys. You saw most of these hip hop artists rocking the, the throwback hats, the fitteds, the, yeah. the, I mean, any sport you can name. Uh, Maestro, what, what is some of your, favorite throwback jerseys Man. some of your like your your worst like the ones you just hate um hate um well let's go love first the uh the 80s astros joint now that was the i guess the, the brown the brown with the, the with yellow the stripe, yeah the, mm-hmm. fire um the old Pacers joint, the seventies Pacers joint with the uh yellow blue stripe down the uh I down think I the shoulder. That. Yeah, I had it. Did it have like a there. hand with the ball on it? I think with so. The, I, I I'm remembering I think I, it vaguely, but I think I yeah, that, that joint was fire. Um believe it or not, I love the uh Tampa Bay the old Tampa Bay jerseys. The creamsicles? Yeah, I love them joints. Oh my god. Um <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love them joints. Them joints was fire. Wow. I know everybody I know everybody hates this jersey. I'm the, probably the only person in the world that loves this jersey. The Bumblebee. Oh, no. Uh, the Bumblebee Pittsburgh no. Steelers jersey. Love that. I love that jersey. I think about that jersey with some uh with some tan jeans and some Tims. You, you no. You're not oh. losing. You are just not losing. Um so yeah, I love those jerseys. Jerseys that I don't like. I can't really, uh, you know, I, I, you know, you kind of caught me off guard with the question, but I can't really think about a jersey that I just flat. Oh, in the in the Rams, the Rams joint, the Ram, the blue and yellow Rams, the blue and yellow, yep, yeah, mm-hmm. fire, right, right. But um, I can't really think about a jersey that I just don't like. I'm sitting here really thinking about it. Um, the blue and green Atlanta Hawks joint hated that. The blue and green. Oh yeah, I hated yeah, them. Yeah, I did yeah, hate yeah, that yeah, jersey. Yeah, yeah. That jersey uh, was that jersey was whack. Yeah. Um, 
I think the ones they got now are they're a little similar. They they tried to bring some of the neon back into it, but they got like neon and red and black, and it's it just not a good look. Yeah but, yeah, but the blue and green joints, them joints was garbage. Um, really, outside of that, I can't really think of no other jerseys. I I just it's just like nah, like nah. I can't wow. really think of that. Well, let me go from sport to sport. I, I'll start with uh, basketball. I love the old, and this could kind of play into like a logo also, but I love the old 76ers uh, jerseys with the fila going across oh, okay. it. It was red, and, uh, red, white, and blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, love the fact that they brought the retro logo back into play. Yeah, yeah. Because the, the logo that they had during the Iverson era, I, I kind of wasn't feeling that one. Um, but that's just a logo. That's not the uniform. Um, I love the Baltimore Bullets throwback. I love the actual, the the uh, Washington Bullets yeah, yeah, yeah. throwback jerseys. I got you. I, got you. I, I, I love that one, too. Um, love the Los Angeles Lakers. The powder blue, navy blue, and white yeah. with the Los Angeles yeah, yeah. script. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I, I had the fitted hat for a, a few years. That's why I... That, that, that kind of brought back some memories a little bit. Um, NFL. I'm trying to think. NFL. The the, the old Giants jerseys, even though <coughs> there wasn't, bless you, Negative. even though there wasn't much uh, change between the old one and the new one, <coughs> bless you. Damn. Excuse me. Excuse Man, we me. need some damage control you know up in here. But, um, yeah, the, the Giants jersey was pretty cool, the, the throwback. Um, I love the Eagles old uh, jerseys with the with the joint on the on the side on the shoulder with the eagle on yeah with the that, eagle on the shoulder that was yep. that was hot that was a that was a fire jersey. Um, trying to think what other jerseys was was hot back in the day. Um, the Forty ers but they they didn't have much. Uh, I still got the uh, Joe Montana throw back in my closet. Yeah, they didn't have much change with that. I mean, I know they had some gold. Yeah. In the arms. I yeah. think now it's just straight red just straight and white. white. Yeah. So, yeah, that was a pretty good jersey. Um, baseball. I love the Orioles joint from back in the day. Never been big on Orioles jerseys. Um, love the... Um, what what team is that? Um, dang. Oh, the Astros. You, you just said Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. I, I, I love the, um, that, that jersey there. Even, even though it had some loud colors in it. It, it, it still, if you had some stuff to match with it, yeah, see, it was you was on point. Yeah, because see, this is also what what it's all about with the throwback jerseys and what or what makes it so great in the modern day era, the style, the colors, uh, the nostalgia, um, even the logos. When they bring back those old logos, I I, I kind of love that. Yeah. Well, see, I know the, the Astros jersey. Um, first of all quick fashion lesson for anybody that don't know how to dress um anything uh brown orange yellow like those type of fall colors right if you put some butter tims on you good to go right you know what i'm saying so oh by the way those pirates throwbacks was pretty good too especially right. especially yeah. the hats with the they yeah, had more, the, I mean, the gold more the hats with the, the jerseys with the yeah. yellow stripes yeah, going across the hat, it more the hat than the jerseys but yeah the hat um yeah so I would do I would do the the Astros joint and I'd have like some brown stone wash jeans with the boots with the Tims. Right, you fresh. But I I, rem- I remember the Astros because uh, you remember back when uh, Dane Dash took over Pro Kids. Mm, it was like two thousand three, two thousand four, maybe. Okay, um, maybe been early. Nah, in fact, it was earlier than that. It was like maybe two thousand two, two thousand three. Right, right. And uh, he took over Pro Kids and. Um, they would release, you know, different colorways of the pro kids. Right. They had these brown, orange, and yellow pair of pro kids that went perfect with the Astros jersey. And I remember um, getting the plug on the Astros jersey, back, cop the Astros jersey. Right. And then I seen them shoes, and I was like, yes, like everything in life, everything in life worked together. So that's how I remember the Astros jersey. Them joints was definitely, I mean, definitely fire. Right, right. I can't forget the old New Jersey Nets um, jersey. Not, and not so much the jersey itself, but the logo. I remember the red, white, and blue logo. And it had the state of New Jersey at the bottom, middle part 
of the circle, and it had New Jersey Nets in like aerial style um, letters. Yeah, I, I, I thought that was dope. Also, um, the ones that I hate. Yo, can I? Can I? Uh... 